At this moment, everyone knows who's behind the coup. It's the very country that has been benefiting from Burkina Faso, but can no longer do to Ibrahim Traore. Since France does not want to reveal its direct involvement, it's hiring soldiers whose loyalties can be bought. Traore himself said that the distribution of funds is being used as a tool to encourage certain individuals to destabilize the government. Traore knows without a fraction of a doubt that France is the one pulling the string of the former and on-duty soldiers, forcing them to revolt. Traore also hinted at the presence of other imperialist powers aside from France. Captain Ibrahim Traore questioned the effectiveness of the French military presence in Burkina Faso in the fight against jihadists. In other words, he tried saying that the French military stationed in Burkina Faso was not to fight the jihadists, but to ensure that a coup could be carried out if any leader went against French policies. Burkina Faso's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Olivia Rawamba, expressed her country's desire to strengthen bilateral cooperation with Iran. This decision came after Burkina Faso confirmed it ended the French military accord. This was one of the reasons why Burkina Faso could not have independent leaders. When they knew the French military was in Burkina Faso, who could strip him out of office, he would make decisions in favor of France. The military agreement had previously permitted French troops to combat armed groups within the country, as announced by the government. But the underlying reason was to control the president and the government. 